Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. This is another short, short story from the book I'm working on called Dark. This story is called A Commute. By the time I get to work, I'm already half tired. First, there's the morning craziness. Get myself out of bed, get my kids out of bed. Breakfast, backpacks, kiss goodbye, be careful in the schoolyard. Gather my stuff, grab a yogurt, kiss wife, get in car. Did I forget something? I don't think so. I've given up driving to work. For the pleasure of sitting in gridlock, you have to pay a crazy amount in road and bridge tolls. I thought the bridge toll was supposed to expire when it was paid for. Stupid me to think that. So I drive to mass transit, eating my yogurt, careful not to spill. I succeed. I crane to stuff the empty into the car's trash bag that I installed. No big traffic, I hope. <sighs> no. Find a parking spot. Nothing in aisle one. Aisle two. Aisle three. Finally, in aisle nine. Yes. I'm still not late, but it's getting closer. Up the stairs with my backpack. Good exercise, at least. I didn't hear the train when going up the stairs, so I didn't just miss it. But two minutes passed. Three. And on four, I hear it arriving. Phew. Twenty-five minutes later, I hustle down the stairs to the street. Damn, it's drizzling. Weather.com said it wasn't supposed to start raining for a couple hours. Should I buy an umbrella for just for the four blocks? No, I'll just hustle and try to stay under the eaves as much as I can. Maybe put a piece of paper from my backpack over my head. Careful, step over the homeless person. As I race by, I want to acknowledge his existence. Sorry, I can't give you spare change today. My rain gear wasn't enough. When I finally got to my office, a colleague smiled. No umbrella? I sighed and escaped to my cube, half tired already. I checked my email, 127. Luckily, only one marked important. Shit, the supplier for the whole leggings line is backed up for a month. Shit, the VP wants us in his office at nine. Shit, that's 15 minutes from now. I need to think about this. What the hell am I going to say? After the meeting, I'm adrenalized, but soon I'm back down and ready for another cup of coffee. I sit at my desk and take deep breaths and try to remember my meditation teacher's mantra. You can only control what you can control. I think it's not helping enough. I need to go full-time remote or move out of this crazy city. In any event, that story is called The Commute. As usual, I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. And I'd certainly welcome you taking a look at my book of short, short stories called Soloists. It's available on Amazon. The subtitle is Stories of Introverts and Outsiders Facing a Dilemma. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.